All right, we're back on the Convergence mod, and we sort of had a revelation at the end of the last video that the Starcaller boss isn't coming for a while, and if it comes quicker than I expected, then I'll revisit it just for the boss alone. It's time to start our journey as the Starcaller, and we've chosen the Enchanted Remnant. I've been looking forward to this class, so we'll see how it plays out. We do spawn in Weeping. Yeah, there's the Onyx guy or I guess the alabaster. Uh, we start with the digger staff, gravity short sword, star collar armor, which gives strength and int by one and reduces the FP costs of sorceries. Let's pop this rune of gravity. We start with gravity well, shatter earth and rock burst. Gravity well fires a projectile and it sucks them in. I believe this is in the base game. We have shatter earth, which they've changed, allows one follow up attack. All right. And then we have rock burst, which I believe is the one that like spikes from underneath i mean shoot we'll find out real quick uh we'll just get this t-posing man so gravity well yeah it sort of like sucks them towards and this one's sort of from base game but they've they've revamped it to be a lot cooler oh that guy was bonus runes and then we have rock burst which i believe just comes up underneath them yeah and it has solid damage as well oh you can like spam it oh i was unaware of that that's sick the shimmering rune is in the earth bore cave glowing rune in the royal grave ever jail shining rune in the war dead catacombs and the radiant rune is in the yellow annex tunnel which is in the consecrated snowfields the armor sets are radon's armor and the red main knight set which is in fort jail as for weapons we have sword of the cosmos alabaster lord's greatsword wing of estelle onyx lord's greatsword meteoric orb blade bastard stars falling Star Beast Jaw, Ruins Great Sword, Scar Scourge Great Sword, Rift Shield, and Meteorite Staff. Don't know how many of these are new. The only one that sounds new to me is the Sword of the Cosmos. But uh, let's start our journey. Let's, we're going to go gather all of our Golden Seeds, Sacred Tears, and Memory Stones. Once we have everything gathered, we'll go grab some weapons and then start fighting things. All right, now that we have collected all of our memory stones, sacred tears, and golden seeds, we're gonna head over to the Caria Manor to grab the Sword of Cosmos. And if I had to guess, it's probably in the Sword of Night and Flame spot. So I'm gonna check there immediately. And I think this is the sword we, we wanna be using throughout the run. It's been a long time since I've had to go grab a Sword of Night and Flame, but it should be in here. Yep, Sword of Cosmos. Straight sword needs 20 int. 12 decks, Cosmic Stance. Hold the sword level and prepare to unleash gravitational energy. Follow up with a normal attack to fire a gravity beam or a strong attack to sweep forward with a bursting gravity nebula. Nah, we gotta see this thing in action. What did I just read, dude? This stuff's crazy. I think we want the Rift Shield and the Meteorite Staff, but we'll hold off on the Meteorite Staff because that Falling Star Beast isn't easy, especially when I'm level nine. So I think next stop is Bellum Church to grab that shield because I assume it's the 10% damage increase shield. All right, we are at the Bellum Church. So the shield should just be at this merchant over here. Hello, fine lad. Let's sell all of our runes and purchase the Rift Shield, which does increase the damage of gravity sorceries by 10%, which is exactly what I was looking for. Knight's Calf time. Yee. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> all right, 12 decks, 20 ints, 20 Vigor and 15 Mind. Uh, we don't have an easy way of killing Grail currently, so we'll hold off on that. And let's head over to the Earth Boar Cave, which is over in Weeping. And here we are, the Earth Boar Cave, which usually has a Rune Bear in it, if I recall. So we'll see who we got in here for us. That was close. <laughs> All right, Pickled Turtleneck. All right, hello, sir. I'm here to test my Ash of War on you, Cosmic Stance. Well, that's the light attack. It's just freaking straight up Estelle's shot. Dude, that's freaking strong. All right, and now the heavy attack. Oh, so this like straight turns you into Estelle. This stuff's sick. They're both dead. Oh, it has such a good like AOE. Does this thing have range with uh, the light attack? It does. That thing reaches. All right, who do we got in here? Oh, it's... A it's a bat. Chanting winged dame. And right, we could just rock spam. <laughs> oh, it's the one that drops poison. Oh, that's that's cringe. Take this gravity well. Oh my god, that knocked him out of the air. It's like instantly poise broke him, it looked like. Let's we'll get a heavy off of that. 
the fact that this guy's a boss is super funny. This is not what I expected coming into here at, at all. This guy is kind of a pushover. We just kind of like just drag him towards us with this. Uh oh. Oh no, he's in the air. Bonk. <laughs> uh. This guy's a pushover. All right, let's try to let's try to snipe him out of the air. We can get poisoned. Oh, okay, I did knock him down. We did end up getting poisoned. Let's just finish this fraud. He doesn't deserve to be the first boss. Get frickin' executed. There is the Shimmering Rune of Gravity. That was nice and easy. All right, let's pop this Shimmering Rune of Gravity, granting us Rock Sling. Hey, there it is. The good old reliable Rock Blaster. Collapsing Stars, and Gravity Armor. All right, Rock Sling, everyone knows what this thing is. Debatably one of the best spells in the game, just being consistently good. Rock Blaster, thrust Staff into the ground to emit a massive shockwave. Hold to continue moving without striking the ground, and then push the end of the staff towards enemies. Okay, we have Gravity Armor, which is surround your body with a gravitational field, improving physical absorption by 40% and non-physical absorption by 10%. Also, while active, enemies are less likely to stagger you and light attacks will rebound. Oh, so we get the, the literal armor that the guys in the like mines get. Have you ever tried to hit one of those guys? You just, it's like, tink. And you just bounce off. Now when they go to hit us, it'll be like, tink, and bounce off. Dramatically reduces your movement speed. Oh, See, I don't love that. I do enjoy my movement. Collapsing stars. Fires numerous gravitational projectiles. Any foes struck will be pulled towards the caster, charging enhanced potency, and we can wield all of these spells. So let us throw on good old reliable rock sling, rock blaster, and collapsing stars. We'll take off gravity well to throw on the gravity armor, because I want to see how slow we are. Let's quickly apply this. We cannot sprint. This is our movement speed and we are heavy rolling. I mean, this is good because, you know, in the open overworld, I can just have this on, be super strong and just ride my horse around. And the next place we are going is the Royal Grave Everjail, which I believe is behind the Carrier Manor. I think it's 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 this one. All right, we are here at Loretta, unfortunately, and we're going to test something. We're going to see if the Convergence mod fixed this. I'm going to hope not just for convenience sake. We're going to head over to this nice little snug corner here tuck ourselves in and when we return loretta will be nothing but a mere puppet which is the case let's see rock sling it's the same you know rock sling's always good rock blaster which i am an enjoyer of and then it has the big slam down you get like a lot of fp that thing could probably go pretty crazy then we have the collapsing stars which if you charge it up it just freaking Turns out so many of them. And yeah, we're just gonna bully Loretta's body here. Cause we're not here for you. I want the gravity man that you are guarding. So RIP Loretta. All right, the Royal Grave Everjail. Here we are. Now, is it still Mr. Gravity Man? Yes, it is. The Onyx Lord himself. Um, Is he still really weak to rocks? Yes, he is. That canceled him, which is exactly what we want. It's to just bonk, and then he can't he can't do anything because he's just gonna get bonked on the forehead every time he tries to walk towards us. It's just bonk, and then he gets a little stagger, and then bonk. It just cancels him out of everything. Let's throw light collapsing stars. This is the non-charged one, and then this is the charged one for damage comparison. Okay, that one missed, so that that doesn't count. It was 108. And then fully charged is 144. Rock burst. Bop. 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 This guy can still get pretty out of hand if he uh, wants to do his meteorites. Jump hits. Dude, this sword's actually really strong. That 210 for the jump hits. And it's not upgraded at all. All right, sir, stop running. Just just take it. Just, just get stabbed. Oh, that's fine. I'll just throw my rocks at you. Hit him with the collapsing stars. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. No, stop it. Oh, gosh. I mean, we did knock him down on his on his back. Hey, hummy, hummy, hop. <laughs> Bonk. And the Onyx Lord is dead. 
and there is the glowing rune of gravity let's pop the glowing rune all right meteorite implosion rock heave and distortion field summons a void that emits a rain of small meteorites hold the continue the effect this is one of my favorite um gravity spells in base game and then we have implosion produce a large gravity field that violently pulls the nearby enemies towards you charging increases the size and damage of the gravity field then we have rock heave which i assume is just a better rock burst strike the ground with your staff triggering a large upheaval of sharp rocks beneath your foe's feet and then distortion field while in the area all physical damage you deal is increased by five percent your casting speed is increased by 30 percent and your physical absorption is increased by 10 percent okay it only lasts for 20 seconds but this buff is really good enemies in the area will be knocked away and enemy spells will be deflected oh, this sounds super overpowered definitely got to use that so we need 36 for our max spell oh the war dead catacombs that's the one behind radon okay so we're being forced to take on radon to get to our next spot that's interesting Interesting. All right, that means we'll uh, we'll go take out Grail for some much needed runes. And we took out Grail. We'll level up our mind to 22, our vigor up to 25, and then int to 22. We will also craft the Stargazing Heirloom, which raises int by 6. We will increase all physical damage by 5%. Grab the Green Turtle Talisman and the physical damage negation. Now I think we go upgrade our sword. All right, we can level up our sword to plus 3. Now we can put on the Meteorite spell as well as the Implosion. And now we'll go take out Radon and get ourselves some armor. All right, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. I, I would have truly appreciate it. I'm trying to get 20k by the end of the year. Don't know how possible that is, but uh, that'd be a crazy first year. We might actually need to grab the meteorite staff before we take on Radon. And let me know in the comments if you would like to see me play Bloodborne. Because I've, I've obviously been interested in it for a long time. I just don't have a console. But if... You guys, if that's something you guys want, I'm definitely down to purchase a PlayStation purely for Bloodborne. I mean, of course, there'll be other games that'll that'll play on there, I, I think. But it would be mainly to visit Bloodborne and uh, Demon Souls for the first time. If that's something you guys want, like the video. If we get 1,000 likes, then I'll go buy a PS5. We'll play through Bloodborne and Demon Souls. <laughs> All right, Doc, let's do this. So first, I'll just send you the beam. 280 it like staggered him he's not one that he's not usually one to stagger okay doc uh pause time out hold on let me set up meteorite all right yeah, yeah you stay there all right allow me to meteorite you they all missed let's see how do you take oh uh, how do you take rock sling okay this guy heavily resists our freaking meteor stuff can we backstab him no i, I think i have established that already and just for gore Jump hits. Gets, this guy's getting stylish with it. We are already out of heals. This is uh, no bueno. I guess we'll uh, just go for a melee kill on Doc and just pray that I am better. How do you like Rock Blaster actually? He loves it. This is probably a terrible idea, but let's go hit for hit. Let's go trade for trade with freaking Doc, dude. Apply our gravity armor so we can't move whatsoever. <laughs> We're not going to be taking a lot of damage. Come here. As I slowly march towards you. Yeah, it's not worth to, to heal. We just got to thug it out. All right, it's not worth to dodge. Sorry, not heal. It is worth to heal. All right, heal here. Yeah. We just got to thug this one out. Yeah, I eat those. Oh, you got a poise broke? I could never. All right, hold on. Let me, let me heal. All right, there we go. Back in. <laughs> This is such a funny interaction. Oh, we got the dodge off. Get owned. Oh, he's buffed. Oh, I'm kind of worried. Oh, oh, oh. Heal. Okay, he's at half. Uh-oh, we ran out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on. I'm out. I'm not ready. Right, let me re, re uh, buff myself. All right, back into it. I can't believe this is working so well. I mean, it makes sense, but it's still so funny. <laughs> yep, can't move me. 
Go for a heavy attack. Bonk. All right, we're getting nice and close. Got a st stick on him. Oh, you went for the buff? That was your last mistake. And let's finish him. Wow. That went so well. All right, level up. HP once and he also gave us the ruins greatsword we get a lot of strength we could wield this and use his wave of destruction attack but for now we'll stick to the, the sword of cosmos and let's throw our other spells back on the rock burst rock sling rock blaster collapsing stars meteorites and imprison and now it's time for radon all right radon i'm here to strip you of your armor in the least weird way possible i'd like to attempt meteorite on radon because he's so big it's gonna do a lot all right pop right underneath all right radon i'm gonna need you to stand still so i can do this yeah spawn inside of him 1200 not bad at all like if we had a, the meteorite staff and it was fully leveled up i feel like we would just shred with the meteorite attack. Hit him with the good old rock sling. Because it, it got ranged like that. Damn, only 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Alright, let's attempt rock blaster. Okay. Not nearly as much damage that, that I'd like, but uh, it's damage. Alright, implosion time. Pop. That did nothing to it on. He is kind of large and expected to do much. All right, time to just shove a bunch of rocks into the bottom of your toes. Ow. You know, maybe we do need to grab the other staff. Maybe I can't hold off on it just because the spells seem very underwhelming. And it's because I'm not maximizing my damage. Like, let's throw on the shield as well. Oh, we got a poise break there. I'll take it. Give me that damage. Nice. Get some nice hits in. All right, yeah, we'll go grab the other staff. I want to see that meteorite doing some real damage. Excuse me, sir. I need inside of that portal that you're blocking. So I'd like you to just take all of these rocks to the face and just just don't attack me. That'd be uh, ideal. But look how much damage it's doing to this guy. Like this is. This is what I want for Radon. So we'll see if we can achieve that. Bonk. Bop. And we'll finish him off with the meteorite. R.I.P. Bozo. Let's head over to Altus. All right, we're here at the Altus Falling Star Beast. And there he is. Let's see if we can hit him with meteorite. Ah, uh, not quite. It doesn't go that far. Let's see how much damage our rock slings doing. Well, it's got to connect first. All right, let's see. 180. This guy is pretty chunky. I do remember that. He's very, very beefy. I mean, shoot, we have a lot of FP, so if he's just gonna sit there, I'm just gonna sit here and spam this, as it's good, decent damage, but it's quick cast. Okay, we got a poise break. Uh, we can't capitalize, unfortunately. And I think the strat here is gonna be spam spells until we run out of FP. And then we use our FP for our uh, the armor spell. And then we just go in, because this spell has really good range. I've yet to see it not connect. Oh gosh, it's getting close. Oh, the rocks. Hey buddy, um, we don't, I don't want to hurt you. Uh, oh, we got a poise. Okay, I do want to hurt you, I lied. Give me that. Yeah, teleport me in the air. I guess I can go for one of these while he's here. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, he's at like half. So we're getting there. It's a very slow process, but it's... Oh, another poise break. Oh, these are actually kind of sick. The collapsing stars, they do so much poise damage, it seems like. So we might not even need to go in for the melee. Getting nice and close. It's just been the same sort of thing, just spamming it. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Oh, no, <laughs> not like this. Oh my gosh, this is very spammable. I've been using this thing wrong all along because i can get so much damage off like this guy is now dead wow that dps is crazy there we go the meteorite staff 35 int can we get a level we can now what are we at 34 oh, i'm getting scammed i need one 
level. We'll go grab the Somberstone Miner's Bell Bearing 2, and hopefully the Crystallians give us a level. Time to just apply gravity armor and sit here and tank all of it. Oh, they, they bounce off. Oh yeah, how does it feel? I'll show you a rock body, yeah. And this will make this very, very easy. All right, there's one, and there is two. There is the Miner's Bell Bearing. Oh, and we're just shy. All right, hold on. All right, let's sell the things that we don't need. Now I can level up Int to 35, allowing us to wield the Meteorite Staff. All right, so we can level up the Meteorite Staff to plus seven, and the Sword of Cosmos up to plus five. We'll throw on the shield as well, and now we're gonna see how much this Meteorite does to Radon. All right, here is the moment of truth. Was this worth it? Pop at me, all right, let's slam it down. They're all missing. 800, one connected. Okay, it does do good damage. I just have to get lucky. Oh, we're going for it again. Oh, please, connect. Oh, he canceled me. Yeah, I think just because of how quick we can cast it, collapsing stars yet again, gonna be the MVP in this fight. Radom, where are you going? Oh gosh, shooting back. Nope. All right, hopefully we can get a nice little transition here to phase two. Just spam him in the back. It's working pretty well. Yep, there we go. Now we are low on pots, but hopefully, hopefully we can clutch it out. No, stay away. No, go away. Okay. Charge this up. We just gotta hope that these full charged are enough. Oh gosh, okay. Wow, we actually dodged that perfectly. Well, the second one, not as much. Uh, this, meteorites, and prey. Connect. Nah, I didn't want damage anyways. That's fine, we can get these off and hope for a poise break, basically. Gosh, this fight is so stressful with this class. Because we don't do nearly enough damage to her dawn. So we just have to like, play very cautious and just run and do small amounts of damage. Pop. Okay, uh, he's gonna pick up his meteorites, so we're just gonna get this damage in. Oh, come on. Oh, poise break. Huge, huge. Hold on. Get this off. Oh, it's over. It's so over it on. Oh, that took way too many tries. I'm so glad that's over though. And we got nice runes. Let's go buy that armor because we desperately need it. Oh, we were taking so much damage that fight. All right, Radon's helmets, armor, gauntlet, the whole, the whole, all of it. Give it to me. So strength, int, mind, endurance, and FP of sorceries and weapon, weapon stamina. Like it's, this is godlike armor. With these freaking physical damage negation stats on top of everything it's giving us, that is crazy. Uh, level up our vigor to 30 and then dump the last level into int. All right, we'll throw on rock heave, the distortion field. We'll stick with collapsing stars, meteorite implosion and then rock sling. Let's head over to the catacomb. I wonder if you could enter this catacombs mid fight. I assume not, but it'd be super funny if you just bail on Radon, head into it. All right, the war dead catacombs. All right, uh, let's craft int boost, heal, uh, physical damage negation or physical damage talisman. So we now have a use for our wondrous physic and we can replace the 5% damage to 10%. There we go. All right, now let's test out our new spells on this boss. Oh, it's Tree Spirit Guy. Okay. Rock Heave. Let's see how this does. Oh, wow, that's, that's huge radius on that. I guess we can turn on our Distortion Field. And then while we're in Distortion Field, Meteorite. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, connect. Oh, yeah. 3k damage. The Rock Heave seems really good. Like, just the radius of it is massive. We can do a light one as well. Nice 400. Okay, let's test it with implosion. Okay, I, I gotta stop using it on bigger enemies. All right, can we aim meteorite at him? No, we cannot. Collapsing stars is just being the MVP right now. Cause Roxling isn't doing quite enough damage. This one takes a little bit too long. Uh, meteorite, I'm just not connecting anything. So I have, so I keep resorting to collapsing stars. 
which I feel bad about because I'd like to, you know, diversify. But we gotta get the job done somehow. Hey, he's exploding. Get my shots in. Oh, dude, I hate fighting these guys. Probably top 10 worst enemies in Elden Ring. Especially because in the base, like when you play through your first playthrough, you see so many of them. I've never went out of my way to fight one of these guys after my original playthrough. So they're just, they're unfamiliar territory now. And they're so scary because they can just scoop you up and you're dead. Oh, don't shoot me. Don't, don't spit at me. Yeah, I don't like. Now, poise break would be, would be great. But I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky. Gosh, dude, this is so stressful. This is such a small area, too. Oh, we got a poise break. Oh, it's huge. Uh, uh I got scared. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! Oh my god, we got it off. We're so close. Oh, please, please. Oh, okay. Gosh, you suck. The Shining Rune of Gravity. Cosmic Tunnel. Meteorite of Estelle. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I need better meteors. Collapsing Nebula and Meteor Sling. Oh, that's why Rock Sling wasn't doing a lot. We can sling meteors. That's cool. All right, so Cosmic Tunnel. Tunnel through reality to instantly move a short teleportation? Oh yeah, it's back. I haven't seen the TP spell since the Holy Class, the Golden Order Fundamentalist. Yeah, that one. Summons a void that emits a hail of meteorites. Basically, we, we, we knew what that was. Um, And this is just a better version of this which has been carrying us so far so collapsing nebula probably gonna be crazy meteor sling obviously gonna be good now we have the the, the good spells we just need levels we're dumping all of our levels into int and now we have the teleportation all right how does she work oh it's so nice oh there we go it's so good oh i'm so happy no more slow traversal. Now the final one is in the consecrated snowfields. Do we go for that right now? Sure, we'll, we'll give it a try. Estelle's gonna suck. If I'm struggling here, then I will definitely just take on Margit and Godric. We're getting invaded. Hi, you're gonna have to catch me. <laughs> See you later, sucker. So you get for getting me off horseback. I'm still heading away. You can't stop this. We are here. And I remember this being like the most disappointing uh, area to find in the game, just because finding another Estelle did not bring me any joy. I, I love the Estelle fight, don't get me wrong, but it shouldn't be repeated. That was a whole freaking rune boss. That's like heading into the cave and finding Melania. Like those guys should be special. Okay, probably not the greatest idea, but because we have our wondrous physic that gives us 10 int, we're gonna experiment with the new spells because it'll just be enough to equip all of them. Hello, collapsing nebula. Let's see how much more damage they're doing. Wait, do they do that the whole way there? Was that me or him? I couldn't tell. Let's uh, try it again. Oh my gosh, they have a whole trail. So it's better to like shoot past them. That's so cool. All right, Meteor Sling. Oh wow, they're even shaped different. I mean, they're not doing any types of damage to Estelle, but those look sick. All right, let's attempt Meteorite of Estelle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a good damage. Realistically, I don't think we're gonna be able to beat Estelle. Jump hits. Bop. Ah, like the only way we're gonna kill Estelle is meleeing this freaking big ugly head. I mean, shoot, she's giving us so much damage. Yeah, I was gonna say, give me that poise break. We eating good, fifteen hundred. Well, bam, eat that as well. Yeah. Okay, maybe this is doable. Maybe we just have to stick to melee. I'm not gonna attempt to do it back. I want to, but. That is not the smartest thing to do. <laughs> John hits. Oh, we're getting big damage in. Okay, give me that. Hold on, this might be a lot easier than expected. I didn't realize that Estelle was gonna act like this and just not fight back. John hits. Oh. We actually made it out. John hits. Yep. 
You got us. Okay, I just gotta put more heals on and it seems pretty easy. We're getting nice and close. Boom. Good poise. Do the, the Sword of Cosmos attack. Back up. That's fine. Jump hits. Get some nice hits here on his head. Goodbye. Welcome back. Jump hits. Oh. Nice. Get out of there. Hey, let's not get gripped. Nice. Charge up a heavy. Bow, bow. Oh. Oh, wait. That connected. That's huge. Because <laughs> we were totally going to get smacked up there. I think it's over, though. For Estelle. Oh. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. All right. Last spot. Jump hits. Come here. There we go. Radiant Rune of Gravity. And so many runes. Feels good. All right, let's pop. Dude, the Radiant Rune looks so cool. Let's pop this bad boy. Gravity Beam. Stellar Bombardment and Astral Alignment. Fires a single focus beam of gravity at enemies. So that literally is the Estelle attack. 54 int. Stellar Bombardment. Summons a void that emits a hail of meteorites that, see that seek out enemies. Whoa. These track. Astral Alignment. While active, you become aligned with the power of the stars. Reduces the cost of gravity sources by 35% and adds additional stamina regen. But it lowers your total absorption by 50% and lowers all the damage you deal with weapons by 30 Okay, so it's like a, a super toggle. So you want to toggle this before you do this. <laughs> That'll get your guaranteed damage in. That's crazy. All right. Well, I think it's time to level our mine to 25 and our int up to 33. And we'll put one level into vigor. So we'll throw on Meteorite of Estelle, Rock Heave, Collapsing Stars, uh, Implosion, and Rock Blaster. Let's take on Margit. All right. Let's see how this goes. All right, Margit. Uh, first thing I want to test on you is the raw damage of Collapsing Stars. 700. All right. Now, will this actually pull you? I'm assuming not. Wow. We get into like a little ball there. That's so cool. Like, float up. It's doing some decent damage, too. 500. Let's see. Oh, 700 for that little bit of damage was sick. Like, on a poise break, doing one of those? Gotta go crazy. Meteorite of Estelle. How's this looking? Oh, there's so many more meteors. 3,000 already? That's so strong. All right, how about a quick rock heave? Ooh, 534. How about charged one? Ooh. And you can see the radius, dude. It's huge. Wow, it's like the dentist. Freaking high pitch noise. Slam down does decent damage. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll just I'll, I'll kill him. <laughs> Give me hug. Embrace. Alright, good night, Margaret. Dude, this attack looks so cool though. The freaking how big the stones are and the radius of it. So nice. What ballistas? My fault. I pretend I didn't say anything. All right, Godric. We will also be giving you the rock treatment. Now that we're like up and we can see the full radius, it looks so much cooler. Like when you're inside of it, you can't really grasp how big it is. But being above it really, really puts it in perspective. All right, let's see if these bad boys got range. Oh no, I'm getting charged. Oh, he missed. He missed. Oh, you hooligan. We're going for it again. We got our distance. Walk into him. Yeah. We need so much more FP to make that uh, better. Like imagine if we had like an FP bar the size of our screen and we could hold it here for like a minute. That'd be freaking sick. Fortunately, we do not. Oh, I get to test out my rock blaster. Come here. No, connect, connect. Oh, his hitbox is bad. No. All right, let's go for some cosmic stance attacks. Oh. Oh, and you got the iframes. Oh, I'm totally dead here. That's unfortunate. The fact that this is so spammable is crazy. Because it's so good. Oh, it's time? Oh, It's unfortunate that the, the hitbox is bad right now. Because I assume that's something that's on the patch notes. All right, let's uh, try to just drain his HP here. Let's see how much damage we can do. Just spam it. Don't stop, can't stop, won't stop. Poise break. And he's dead. 
five KO, and that was our whole FP bar. That's crazy. Spells too good. All right, level up. Int. We need one more level for the, the Nebula Stars, and we'll head over to Lindell. We'll make our way up to Morgat. All right, let's try out the Collapsing Nebula against our boy, Segur. I wonder how spammable these will be, because it's the after effect, right? Hmm. When you spam it, the, the Nebula is a lot sh smaller. Even though the spells like look the same, they like function completely differently. It's, it throws me off because uh, I click it expecting it to like instantly hit and then I'm like, wait, I gotta like try to position it. And it's not about my shot, it's about positioning. Hold it. Get a minute. Yeah, Rocky. Wow, they did no types of damage. What about collapsing stars? How much damage are they doing? Oh, that was no damage either. Maybe it's because uh, he's so small that they can't track them all. Because it's doing the same sort of thing at the back where it, it was not hitting. Okay, let me get space and try a nebula. Care far enough away. Okay, yeah, it gives him a little bit more time to run into it, but a majority of it wouldn't be behind him. So it's better on like bigger enemies, it seems. One, two. One, two. Jump hit. So I'm all out of healing now. Hop. Hop. Nice. Sick damage. Rock heave. Okay. One, two. Hit another one. No, that didn't kill. Finish him. Oh, let's go. Okay, we need one more level. We'll see if we have enough. I don't think we will. Level up our int. And now we have access to the Meteor Sling. I should also put on Radon's Great Rune. Let's see. Oh gosh, he's already throwing stuff. I want to try to do the Meteor Sling here. Charge him up. Oh, dude, these, they go so fast. That damage is beautiful. Dude, they're like little spears. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, it still fires off. We've got our first poise break. Oh, we can try the Nebula as well now. Nice. Nice. It's like 700 per. It's pretty good. Can we get him stuck in it? Oh, 788 still is our, our max. Oh, nice. We got a, a phase shift there. Okay, that's real damage. That's real damage. He tried to dodge it. Oh, a poise break. Wait, hold on. Let me cook. Fire away. Hit him. Hit him. Okay, he got hit twice. And he didn't attack us. That was so good. Okay, just like one more after this. Okay, maybe one and a half more. Uh, okay, we got it. It's over. NT. Meteor Sling OP. All right, I think we're gonna go for Melania. We're gonna go over to her because I feel like she'll be fun to toss around with some of these. She is the hardest boss, so we definitely want to test the spells against her. We also have this gravity beam now, so we'll be able to try that out. All right, gravity beam, let's see. Oh, dude, he dodged that. Like he was totally out of the way. This thing's so strong. I mean, it's super bright. It's like a flashbang, but it's very strong. Boom. 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 So I don't think we'll use this a whole lot just because it's so obnoxiously bright. I feel like that makes for a poor uh, viewing experience. So we'll use it to showcase it in this fight. I'm leaning towards not using it that much. Like don't use it unless like I'm, I'm super struggling because it is very strong as well. All right, we're at the Halic Tree and we'll see if we can upgrade our staff anymore. We can to plus eight. Loretta, eat rocks. Good damage. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Sometimes, a good portion of the time, a couple of them will miss just because how small she is. These, uh, these rocks do pretty well as well and she can't really get out of them. Oh, this might... Oh, that cancels the, the bow shot. That's really good to know. Cancels all of her spells, actually, whenever... If she's mid-cast. One, 
two, three, four, five. All right, let's see if he, if she gets stuck in the nebula. Oh no, that's like no types of damage. And we couldn't see us almost dying. I think Rock's just the best. Yeah, especially when it goes cancel her like that. Oh my God, it ducked it too? Pop, yep, no arrow for you. Ah, no arrow for you. Ah, no arrow for you. Ah, <laughs> no arrow for you. Ah, no arrow for you. Uh oh, uh oh, arrow for you. Ah, he missed. <laughs> Oh, that was silly. Nice runes. So what? what's our max spell? So we need to get 62 in. All right, we have enough int for everything. We're gonna throw on the astral alignment buff. We're gonna throw on the stellar bombardment. Keep meteor sling, keep nebula, and keep the rock. You're like super slowed in the, the thick swamp when you're trying to teleport. The small details are super cool. All right, we have made it. It's time to take on Melania. Hopefully this doesn't go horribly. I want to try Implosion. Um, let me just get over here. Okay, it doesn't do what I thought it was going to do. I was hoping it would, uh, like, suck her towards me. Now oh, she has that, like, stumble animation. Yeah, like that one. But, I'll, but cancel her out of her attacks. Alright, let's try the Astral Alignment with the stellar bombardment let's see how this does she's gonna dodge like all of these she loves to like oh wow it just like locks her down oh my gosh that damage i need more mind that's for sure because look look at the potential damage i could have i could just pin her down like that's so much damage holy dude this stuff's broken bombardment just it, it doesn't let go but yeah there's still one from last time we just smoked her <laughs> And now that she's stuck in here, she's just gonna get owned. I, I know I've always wanted tracking meteorites, but holy, no wonder it's not a thing. She got poise broke, she's already dead. Like she has no chance of fighting back here. Oh please, oh God, oh no, I threw. I was, I was trying to kill her before she killed me. That's fine, it won't, it won't take long. All right, let's hope. Uh oh, uh oh, okay. Get out of that fine let me get some oh i did not want to do that i wanted space wait this is perfect this worked out like amazingly it baited her it's so over <laughs> r.i.p melania let's go that was a fun fight mainly because freaking the bombardment is broken finally we can level up our vigor and mind we're gonna bombard the fire giant next. I'm assuming the freaking bombardment is gonna go crazy on him. Like if it targets the ankle, oh, it's over. I mean, we're gonna find out right here. It does, it targets the freaking ankle, dude. <laughs> oh, <he's... laughs> oh it's, it's already over. Like, what? I'm just gonna target the hand and just, just eat you. Poise break, yeah, it's it's done. It's said and done. It's too good. No, just aim it at your face a little bit. RIP the fire giant. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta chill. All right, level up mine some more. Now it's time to go bully Malakath and Sierra. Give me that. Let's -a go. Hey, now we can upgrade our sword some more as well, which I think we'll do right now. Level up, level up this as well. All right, I want time for the bombardment on this one. I feel like Nebula is the only one that uh, I can spam really in here. It's actually working quite well. Boom, boom, boom. God, that was a lot of particles on the screen. Everything else I have to stop for quite a bit to, to summon, so she's gonna get her hits off. Like even if I if I go for this, she's already I got a lot of damage off, don't get me wrong, but it's risky. And the meteor sling it could work. Just uh you have to get your spacing right. Boom. 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 Get me out of there. 
just like crawled in it. Uh oh, uh oh. Ow. Oh wow, it's still connected even though she was like high up. Alright, it's over. L, 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 L. Now time to bully Malakath. Give me that. Alright, let's see if we can nuke him to phase two, like, immediately. Will they reach from here? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, they'll just float towards him, right? I don't think they have, like, a range. Oh my gosh. Oh, poise break? Oh, we're totally gonna phase two him here. Immediately. Yep, there we go. Now this is gonna be risky, but I'm going for it. I should have backed up more. Oh! I was just far enough away. Chill. I don't think I'll be able to get those off again. Oh my god, the meteor sling missed as well. That did nice. That did good. Wait. Oh, I made a mistake. Ow. Okay, that was very close. Okay, he's far enough back. Oh, dude, he keeps- he runs at me with the- whenever I go for the meteor. Back up. Do the nebula. Nice. Okay, let's try meteor sling. Oh, he got behind the pillar. I swear he's just trying to bait me into meteor swing. The way he's been acting. Every time I go for meteor sling, he, like, goes for an attack immediately or, like, positions himself better. And whenever I cast this, he just sort of like walks at me. Go through. Nice. Hit him with the rocks. Go for it again. Ah! Bop. Oh, come on. Finish him. Bop! There we go. Malekith made me, made me work for it. Beast clergyman, he was just giving it up for free. All right, got the meteorite staff. We can level up to plus 10. And now we can level up our mind and endurance. Let's see if we can handle Scarred, because he's going to be tough. If meteorite just bypasses his shield or like uh, is overwhelming, then that'll be our saving grace. But I have, I have a feeling we're going to have to resort to the armor spell sitting there and like have a slug fest moment of truth will his shield block all of it does it stagger him is he trying to shield i just see a dust pile yeah he was just knocked knocked over dude he can't fight back against the meteors we finally found the counter oh here's the true test oh my god He's, he's a beast. Oh no, he went to attack me. I think. Because his shield went away for a second. Yeah, I think he went for like one of those. No, get away from me, you freak. Alright. Get him, boys. He's dead. <laughs> the fact that like right away when we used it, I couldn't see him at all. It was just a dust pile is crazy. All right, Godfrey, you're going to get the same treatment, I think. Hopefully. And it depends if it staggers him or not, because he might just, like, go straight for us. Oh, God, he's just, like, walking through it like a beast. I mean, he did so much damage in this short amount of time. Let's go for it again. Don't jump at me. Oh, he <gasps> poise break clutch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, this is a horrible idea. Oh, I'm gotta heal. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Dude, he moves too much. He's like avoiding it. Look at that trail. Back that when the air is criminal. Uh, get it off. No, we didn't get it off. Okay. Boom. Okay, he missed. 
get it off. Oh, they all, they all hit there. Again. Oh, they all missed. Boom. And it's Dover. Let's see how uh, Radagon takes this. I'm actually very curious. Will he also? Will he be able to infinite deflect them? All right. Stellar bombardment. Let's see. How does Radagon take it? Is he gonna deflect everything? So far, no. Which is very surprising. I mean, I don't think there'll be many opportunities to get it off. But if we can, it's gonna do so much. Let's go for it again. Uh oh. Yeah. Not something you can just do willy nilly. How about these? He has his fist out. Oh, he deflected them. Oh, that's horrible. This will be the same way, right? Yeah. But I don't think you can deflect this though. That's something that you can't really block. One. Two. Three. Meteor time. Come on. Finish him. You know you want to. Uh oh. Boom. Boom. Uh, uh, I can't see him. That was actually bad for me. Finish him. Quick. Ah, no, not like this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Jump it. Wait, I'm going for it. Finish him. Frick this guy. Ah, uh, kill him. Yes. He got killed in the air so he couldn't damage me. Dude, we did that flawlessly. We did that so well. All right, um, back to the, the shield. Post up behind and let it rain. Immediate damage. Oh yes. No, where are you going? Come back. Already rings is kind of interesting. Let's put this buff back on. Go for one of these. Oh, we're getting swung at yeah. Nice, get nice and close. That's really bad. Oh, those still connected. That's so good. Meteor Sling's actually quite good against him as well. I didn't realize how good it would be. 1100 per. Oh, and it tracks him in the air. Poise broke him mid air, allowing us to get this off for free. Oh, I should have drank my MP pot. I didn't get the full uh, full effect. It's fine though, until he hits us. We're chilling. Good damage. Okay, let's mean your sling. Should be able to finish him off. Just send out this. Oh, we gotta cancel him from rings. Nope, send another one up. Get him, boys. Yeah. <laughs> no second rings. Get owned. Wow. Such a good class, dude. All right, that was the Elden Rings Convergence mod as the Star Caller class. You're new around here? Subscribe. It's been Curtis the Cactus, guys, and I will see you in the next video.